Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 17 public beta 1. My name is Jay and you are watching Tech Hype. Let's dive right into this video without wasting any more time. So if you have already watched my previous videos and if you haven't, I will link it in the iCard or below the like button. So on those videos, I talked about iOS 17 public beta and how the public beta will be really stable and it will match the build of iOS 17 in beta 3 there is an update on that news so let's talk about it and let's discuss when the release of ios 17 public beta will be plus what's all new things we are going to see in that update my name is jay you are watching tech hype if you're new here please hit that subscribe button because we are really close to 10k and i want to get to 10k as soon as we can it's my birthday on 31st of july so please get me to 10k before my birthday it would be amazing if you guys can hit that subscribe button and help me reach my goal which is 10k before my birthday anyways now let's dive right into this topic which is ios 17 beta 1 ios 17 beta 1 is expected to arrive on tuesday what is on tuesday the day i'm recording and posting this video is 7th of july apple will be releasing the public beta of ios 17 on july 11th we will see the public beta one of ios 17 on 11th of july it is free to sign up and test the public beta now it is also free to test developer beta i keep on forgetting that but it is really safe to install public beta on your device it is much more stable than developer beta and there are very less bugs the build of the ios 17 public beta one will be most likely the same of the ios 17 beta 3 if not just a bit tweaked mostly it will be the same ios 17 beta 3 new changes on the ios 17 public beta when you will install the public beta if you have the beta 3 of ios 17 developer beta 3 if you are running that version you won't be able to install the public beta 1 but if you are on anything lower than beta 3 which means ios 17 developer beta 1 or developer beta 2 if you are on those betas you will be able to install the public beta 1 because that is as i said basically the beta 3 but more stable version but 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 it is a public beta it is stable that doesn't mean you should not take backup of your device backups are always appreciated betas it is at the end of a day it is a beta and if you will see any big issues or some things you will for sure get another update apple is not late to the party when it comes to recall update so if in case the beta will have really severe issues apple will be really quick to provide a fix of that update as soon as possible but that means we may suffer on our data it is always always required to take a backup before installing a beta even apple recommends you to take a backup before you install any sort of beta on your any watch or ipad or iphone because betas are notorious to do things like wiping your data by breaking your device i have been in this place i have been in the ios beta thingy this ios beta world for a long time now and there have been times i remember it happened with me with my iphone 7 on ios 15 beta 2 15.2 beta 2 i guess that was really weird that it was 15.2 beta 2 and my phone got breaked i had no option because i didn't had any backup of my data i had to lose my data and then reinstall the ios version from my mac so please 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 make sure to take backup and then install the public beta one of ios 17 there are really less chances to have bugs and issues like these these occur as i said it happened to me on my iphone 7 on ios 15 so so that's really long time ago these issues happen really really like one in thousand or ten thousand times but still you don't want to be that one in ten thousand right i really request you guys to take a backup before you install a beta and especially if it is your first time please listen to me and install it on your device because there are a lot of first time users installing betas this year there will be new features like standby voicemail and many more features that apple teased in their wwdc all features won't be available right out of the gate the public release of the ios 17 won't have all the features the replication of your voice and all you will be 
be able to use it but of course some features are right now on hold and apple said it will be on ios 17 later this year ios 17 public beta 1 will be really really stable and i do recommend you guys to install it but that doesn't mean you should forget that it is a beta and betas are notorious to do wrong things and have really bad bugs and a quick tip for people with 85 percent or less battery health actually for everyone but especially for people with less than 85 percent battery health there are some thermal issues right now on ios 17 betas your phone will get warm noticeably warm because it is doing a lot of background processing so your phone will get warm and because your battery is not that high voltage right now as it should be 85 percent is very close to 81 percent which apple says and at the end of the day battery health this percentage of battery health is measured by a lot of things and these are not accurate for sure not to forget there are different qualities of batteries in every device i have seen a lot of people having great backup on their device with 80 percent battery health and i have seen the same people with 95 percent battery health the same phone but the battery health is not that good Apple is a big company and batteries do vary in quality sometimes. Anyways, getting back to the topic which is iOS 17 Beta 1. The public Beta 1 of iOS 17 will have a lot of fun features. It will be available for us to download for free. You can sign up in Apple Developer Program by going on their website and you can just install by signing up. I will link it below the like button, betas.apple.com. You can go on that website, register yourself and you can enroll in the beta program what do you have to do just go in settings after doing that and then go in general go in software updates turn off automatic updates then you will see a beta option below the automatic updates just click on that so you will have some options ios 16 public beta and ios 17 public beta click on ios 17 public beta and you are good to go that is how easy apple has made things now and it is free of cost let me know down in comments below what are your favorite features also i do make videos on a lot of devices i will cover iphone 11 iphone 11 pro iphone 10 r iphone 12 iphone 13 iphone 14 uh, separately i will make reviews on that on ios 17 public beta so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on notification it does motivate me a lot to make more videos like these in conclusion make sure to take backup of your device before installing this beta and this beta will be live and you will be able to install this beta from 11th july onwards the well, last thing that i want to talk is space you have to make sure that you have enough space to download this beta because it will be a big beta especially if you are coming from ios 16 it will be around 7 to 8 gigabytes depending on your device and if you are on a really old version like 16.4 or something then it's gonna be even huge so make sure to have some storage on your device and of course betas do take some extra storage so make sure to free up some storage on your device before installing thank you so much for watching this video till the end this is me jay aka tech hide please hit that subscribe button because we are really close to 10 and i want to get to 10k before 31st of july which is my birthday so please hit that subscribe button i will catch you guys in the very next episode till then peace out and take care everyone